this is Teacher K. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have a question for you. Have you ever wanted to become a detective? Oh my gosh, me too! So today is your lucky day because we're going to talk about five classroom mystery games. Well, we know that these games are not only fun, but they will also develop everybody's thinking skills. Are you ready? Let's start. Number one is Guess the Gibberish Mystery Edition. Since last year when I started my YouTube channel, Guess the Gibberish is definitely a crowd's favorite. So today we're going to convert mystery movies or spooky movies for kids into gibberish phrases. You can use my PowerPoint and flash it onto a screen or if you're doing it online, you can do share screen instead. By the way, this PowerPoint is editable, meaning you can add in phrases or words that you want for your own game. All right, so as a participant, all you have to do is guess the gibberish phrase once you are already acknowledged by the game master. Again, the category for these gibberish phrases are mystery movies or spooky movies for kids. Every time you get the correct answer, you get one point. Why don't you try this with me? Any guess? Just try. The answer is, it's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. How about this one? Any guess? The answer is Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase. Now let's move on to our second game entitled What's in the Mystery Box Challenge. As a game master, all you have to do is get a box. Place the mystery object inside when no one is watching. If you're feeling festive, you can actually decorate it to make it look more mysterious. Just make sure that the object is aligned to whatever theme you have, such as if we're doing mystery, then maybe you can have magnifying lens or a detective hat, a notebook, binoculars, etc. Or you can make it as silly as you want. It really depends. Oh, by the way, make sure that the box has two holes where the participant can insert his two hands without seeing what's inside. The participants will have to touch or feel the object inside the box and then give a guess within one minute. If unsuccessful, then we move on to the next participant. Number three is trick or treat guessing game. Or you can call it how many candies inside the jar guessing game. So as a game master, all you have to do is fill in a jar with candies and have the participants guess how many candies are in that jar. The winner either guesses correctly or is closest to the correct number. And that person can take home the jar after sharing a piece to everyone, of course. Number four is Pop Hunter. This one is played in two parts. First, the kids will have to find the hidden ghost lollipops. After they've found all of the lollipops, they have to spell out the predetermined word using the letters assigned to each lollipop. This game definitely combines physical and mental activity, making it a must-play game. Number five is Mystery Game. In this game, all the participants will have to work together to solve a mystery using the clues that they gather along the way. The duration of the game really depends on the story and what level of difficulty would you like the team to experience. You know what, I really recommend this type of game because it develops critical thinking skills, communication, teamwork, creativity, and so much more in just one game. There are actually a lot of mystery games available online that you can purchase and I think some are free. In the internet, you can find mystery games that are printable or can be done in an online setup. 
Since my goal for this channel is to help you make every single moment of your life extra special, I am planning to develop a lot of mystery games for every season, such as Christmas, Fall, Thanksgiving, New Year, and even Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's the plan, but I'm not sure yet if I should do it now because of my hectic schedule, and I'm not really sure if you guys want to see those type of games in my Etsy shop or in my future website, but if you do, please leave a comment down below. And if ever I decide to start with that project, definitely the link will be found in the description box down below. Alright, so those are the five classroom mystery games that you can play with your family, students, or even friends. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again next week for more exciting contents. Once again, this is Teacher K. Have a great day. Bye.